pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. My name is Robert Rountree, and I teach seventh grade science in Pittsburgh, New York, which is upstate New York. And uh, we focus on chemistry. So I love to tell the kids that I love chemistry because I love the periodic table. Get it? Thanks. I remember my middle school teachers, and I remember the demonstrations. So when I started teaching, I kind of used that as a guide that uh, I would try to make sure that I would give the kids as many demonstrations as possible. No, I don't think the sink is in the least bit boring. Um, I think more times than not I use it as what's called a motivator, meaning you try to do something. The research says the kids will remember whatever you say first and whatever you say last, and if you're lucky they'll remember something in between. And that's always the trick of putting a lesson together. But if you can grab their attention at the beginning, then you tend to have it for the whole rest of the, the class. You know, the idea of having a video for each element, you know, is brilliant. It really is, because that way in one place you can go to and find out what it is you want to know about that element. And then each video obviously leads to more and more questions. As soon as a kid, I don't, you know, as soon as a kid mentions an element, or I mention an element, it'll be like, go to the video. The uranium and other elements in the centre of the reactor melted, and the metal boiled down at the bottom. Everybody started shouting and screaming with laughter, and he never really managed to keep control of the class after that at all. So, good chemistry, melt on. when Brady said he was coming, I said, well, what can I do? And I was thinking, you know, and I don't know whether I had just seen the zinc video or I went home and saw the zinc video, but I just thought that would be a really cool demonstration that, you know, because there's the ooh-ah factor and the YouTube, is it YouTube friendly? I had decided in putting this together that I'd better find out whether it was legal or not, otherwise I was gonna have to do something with dry ice, which would have been awesome, but not the quiet ooh-ah factor I was looking for. And I called the USA Mint, and I got the person who sells coins. And she thought it was an awesome question. And she said, well, let me give you some numbers. And there's an educational exemption that if you're melting pennies for educational purposes, that that, in fact, is OK. That is illegal. Is white hot hotter than red hot? My question is, is it aluminum or aluminum? What's your favorite element? What's your least favorite element? Hi, uh, what's the most dangerous element? What first got you interested in science? So I just press space, or do I have to have the thing on the... They're interesting questions, aren't they? Hey, Professor, have you ever played with mercury?